Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's Macworld Expo special, let's go and take a look at the HP MediaSmart server. So you may find it strange that the largest producer of PCs, HP, had a very large booth at Macworld. That's because they have a lot of products that work with Macs, like printers or, for instance, the HP MediaSmart server. Now, this server is basically a box that can hold up to four drives and can be used as uh, storage for your Macs. And basically, it can sit there on your network and you can transfer files to it. But you can also put media on it, and the media can not only be viewed on different machines cross platform uh, across your network, but even devices like an Xbox, for instance. It even has some Mac specific functionality, like the ability to use it, set up a partition to use specifically with Time Machine. So I caught up with Glenn from HP at the Macworld Expo. Great. So I'm here with Glenn from HP, and they just introduced last week the HP Media Smart Server. Hi, Gary. Thanks for uh, giving us the opportunity to tell you about our second generation server. Um, the first generation we introduced about 15 months ago, and it did really well. In fact, 91% of our customers said that they'd recommend it to friends. But we also talked with a lot of our customers, and they said, you know, we're the type of customer that doesn't just have PCs in the home, we have Macs as well. And that's why we've introduced this here at Macworld this year. Mm -hmm. And the big feature that we've added is, um, well, first of all, we've added a lot of features that work well with the Mac, but we've especially added a feature that allows Time Machine to back up to the MediaSmart server over the network. So that's a big feature that we're excited about. So it creates a separate Time Machine partition in addition to having the media serving partition. Exactly. So basically it creates a share on the server that Time Machine knows to back up to and we think it's one of the very first that allows it backing up over the network. Great. So uh, like, what sort of uh, media would people store on these and how would they access it throughout their home? Yeah. Well, maybe I'll tell you how it works in the home and, and basically what it is is it's a, it's a network storage device that's running Windows Home Server okay. and you basically would plug it into your network in your home and turn it on, and then you would install it on a PC. We've developed this for a home that has Macs and PCs in it. Um, after you install it on there, then the customer can immediately start using it. Backups begin running on the PCs, and a customer, in terms of types of content, photos, music, video, of course, all those enthusiasts would be able to put their content on here, as well as documents, etc. Um, from a Mac standpoint, you use the same disk, you install it on the Mac in a couple quick steps, um, it takes two steps to set up your time machine backup, and then it's up and running as well. And you can even serve the media from things like an Xbox 360. Absolutely. So we have a very robust media streamer on here. So this is a, it has multiple drives in it, four different drives. What's the maximum capacity? Um, maximum capacity is really the size of hard drives. So for example, today, internally, if you use one terabyte drives, you could have four terabytes inside. But we also have a USB on the front three USB and an ESAT on the back, so theoretically nine terabyte if you're using one terabyte drives. Excellent. One other thing I was going to mention about the streaming, we also have an iTunes server on here. So that allows you to have iTunes as a shared device. So essentially a customer can have all their content on here, it'll show up when the customer opens their iTunes as one of the shared devices, and you can play it on any of the PCs or Macs in your home. Excellent. So is there any special Mac software for accessing it? Um, no special software. Um, basically, as I said, it's a quick setup. But then what we do have is all of our applications that we use um, work on the Mac, almost every one of them. And so a few examples that we have. We have a remote media streaming um, application that basically if you're on the road and you as a customer needs to access your content, you can do that. You could go in and pull your photo, music, or videos and, and put them um, and get, get them remotely here at the show. Or you could listen to your music or view your photos remotely through a really nice um, streamer. We also have a lot of sharing applications. So we, we've, on our first generation product and this one, we had an ability to create albums and share out to your family and friends. Um, when you buy this server, you get a URL assigned to it. So in my case, it's Robert's family at dot, dot, dot. And, and so the customer has a way to get in, and so do their friends and family. And, and with that um, sharing, we also now heard a lot of customers say, you know, I don't want to share from the server. I'd rather take my content and load it up to Facebook or load it up to Picasa Web. And so we've built a real simple application for them to upload that as well. Excellent. So, so how much does the, the server run? 
Well, we have two configurations. We have one that is a 750 gigabyte, and it's for $599, and then we have a 1.5 terabyte, and that's selling for $749. And then could you, you add your own hard drives to it later on if you want to expand? Absolutely. It's a very simple process. The Windows Home Server is really an easy way to say, okay, I've got drives here. I want to add one. I, I put the drive in any SATA drive. It doesn't have to be HP. You can put that in and say add, and it'll add it and move your content around on it for you. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Now to find out more you can go to the HP website and the best way to do that is just simply search for HP Media Smart Server and it will take you right to the web page with all the details for pricing and options and things like that. Till next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.